In order to crack passwords in an offline mode, you must first obtain the hashes stored within the operating system. In our case, the operating system is Windows and these hashes are stored in the SAM file which is located in C Windows System32 config. If you try to open this SAM file here, it will tell you that it cannot be opened. So obviously this file is not accessible while the operating system is booted. If you have physical access to the device in question, you can run a Linux Live CD, which is capable of reading NTFS drives and capable of mounting the Windows partitions. This way you will copy the sound file easily to external media. If you're not comfortable doing that, you can use Nordal's offline anti-password editor which will do the same as well. You will be able to read the SAM file. For the purpose of this tutorial, just go online to openwall.com and download a copy of pwdump or password dump. Just extract this folder to your Windows machine on the root C drive. This is password dump here. Then go to the command line, run it in admin mode, and go to the password dump. Then issue the command pwdump.exe, then redirect the output to crack.txt. If you go to the password dump folder and open the crack.txt, you will see that the hashes has been dumped here and you will see the list of usernames and the IDs of the usernames. Then you will see two hashes separated by colon. The hash on the left side is the old LM hash and the hash on the right side is the new NTLM hash which is more secure. We'll take this hash here, copy it because we want to crack it and try to crack it. Just copy this hash here and go to the Linux machine, open the terminal and now we want to create a file that has this hash. So just use the command echo and then redirect the output to a file named Windows hash.txt. So now if we do the list again, we have a text file here called Windows hash. Just see the content of the Windows hash. And here you go. In the Windows hash, we have this hash that we are trying to crack. Now we'll use the application John the Ripper in order to crack this hash. John the Ripper is actually one of my favorite password cracking tools because it supports lots of hashes. So it's very easy, just type in John and the help menu will pop up here. The syntax is very easy. Just use John, options and password file. So let's see the uh, hashes supported by John. If you go write John, then list equal format, formats. You'll see all the hashes that are supported by John here. So let's try to crack this, this hash that we just got from the Windows machine. So John, and we need to specify the format. If you don't specify the format, John will kind of recognize the format on its own. But in order to make things easy, we will tell him the format type of the hash, which is NT. Then you specify file that you want to crack, which is windows hash.txt. Then you specify a word list, any word list. It can, John can use its own word list. You can download extra word lists. See in the upcoming uh, tutorials how to create good word list. But for the sake of this video here, I've created my own word list. Word list equal, it's wl.lst, just a random word list that I'm using. And just hit enter. Okay, so obviously it figured out the password. And once John figures the password, it will store it in a file called john.pot. So try to locate john.pot. And here you go, just copy that and try to open it in leafpad. And here, here you go. This is our hash here, which is NT. And this is the crack password. Once John cracks a hash, it stores it in the john.pot file. So if you want to crack the same hash again, it will not redo the effort unless you remove this file. John supports advanced password manipulation, cracking by using the rules. 
so if you want to see the rules you can issue this command here and these are the advanced rules that John might use in order to crack a hash these rules include like adding trailer trailing character alphanumeric capitalizing etc if you want to see the details of these rules just locate the file john.conf and open it and search for the word rule and you will be able to see the details of the rules here such as this rule is called single and these are the password manipulation techniques that it does Another rule is called word list, another rule is called extra, which mainly does insertion, overstrike of some characters, etc. So you can just explore them on your own.